Hello folks, the Snapdragon Summit is happening next month in Hawaii, where Qualcomm will unveil the next flagship Snapdragon chip, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. It is going to power a majority of Android flagships in the first half of 2023. Recently, the chip was benchmarked on Geekbench, and the benchmark is from a Samsung smartphone. The chip scored around 1500 on single core and 4600 on multi core, so there is some noticeable performance boost over the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, which scores around 1300 on single core and 4200 on multi core. MediaTek is also going to unveil its next flagship chip soon, and as per various sources, this chip is named the Dimensity 9200. Today, the N2 benchmark score of this chipset was shared by Digital Chess Station on Weibo. The chip scored over 1.26 million points, making it the highest ever N2 benchmark score. The new chip promises a fairly impressive 26% generational improvement. MediaTek did announce a mid-season upgrade to the old chip, the Dimensity 9000 Plus, which promised a 5% boost in CPU and 10% in GPU performance. In practice, the Plus chips caused the 1.13 million points, so even compared to that one, the new results look pretty good. Apart from the overall Antutu score, we can also see the individual scores of the CPU, GPU, memory and UX in the screenshot. Interestingly, the CPU score of the Dimensity 9200 is almost the same as Dimensity 9000 Plus. On the other hand, the GPU score gets a boost of over 100,000 points. The screenshot also shows that the peak temperature during the benchmark was 37 degrees, so it is possible that the CPU was not used up to its full potential, which was also the case with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2's Geekbench benchmark. According to Digital Chat Station, the Dimensity 9200 features a Cortex X3 CPU core up from an X2, which means we should see some improvements in the CPU performance since ARM claims up to 25% performance boost compared to the Cortex X2 core. Again, we don't know what kind of device run the benchmark, so it's too early to draw conclusions. Anyways, the reason for this significant boost in GPU performance is due to the new Immortalis G715 GPU, the latest flagship GPU by ARM. This is also the first mobile GPU by ARM offering hardware-based ray tracing support on mobile. Compared to the previous generation ARM GPU, this new GPU offers up to 15% performance improvements and twice the ML improvements. The power efficiency is improved by 15% too. We don't know what kind of device ran the benchmark nor what settings were used, but these results suggest that the Dimensity 9200 will be a worthy successor to the 9000 Plus, which was used on some flagships as an alternative to the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. We haven't heard anything concrete, but the Dimensity the 9200 may be officially unveiled in the next few weeks. The 9000 was announced in mid-November. Perhaps the launch will be intentionally timed before or after Qualcomm's announcement. Anyway, it's pretty interesting seeing MediaTek rise from years of mediocre chipsets to one of the best in the market, only aged out by Snapdragon and Apple Bionic. Good job, MediaTek. Keep it up. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please share it with your friends. See you in the next one.